Hey everybody, welcome to the Jimmy 2 Tech channel. I'm Jimmy 2. And obviously I'm Jimmy 1. And together we're the Jimmys. Yeah. We're out here today at the RV doing the upgrade already. Today we're going to put slide toppers on this. There are five slides on this, so yeah. it will take a while, but it's a pretty smooth process. We already did one on the other side off camera, just so we know what we're getting ourselves into. So with that being said, let's uh, run up there and get it done. Yeah, let's get started. So guys, this is what comes in your accessory packet and hardware. So we have instructions first. I think there's what, two plates? There's two plates that go into the adapters. These are already on our RV, so we don't need those. And a bag of hardware. That's it, really. And then, of course, the slide topper. They come when you buy them. They come in these tubes. Uh, it says fragile, but ours was crushed a little bit. Hopefully it's in good shape. We'll just pull it out of there. And you'll also get this uh, this bracket here, which you won't need because that's, well, if you got a new RV that has it, you won't need this because it's on the RV already. Okay, guys, this was also in the box. We just wanted to include this because this comes with it. It comes with, a, yeah, just the two poles, and that will work with the hardware. So this is the actual slide topper. Oh, come on. There we go. So as you see, it's already, it's got some tape on there. And then it's got little safety pins, so it you know keeps the tension right here and shipping, so it doesn't blow open. Yeah, don't pull those out. Yeah, don't don't pull those out until you know we're ready to, which we'll let you guys know. So first up, we're gonna do here is we need to install the pole into this. Let me get on the other side of you so I can get a good. Yeah, when you look at your awning, you'll see the one hole in the bracket, and then there's a hole in the end of your pipe, and then there's these end caps that have this groove. You want to line all that up. So we're going to shove this in this way. Like we said, make sure your, your holes are going to line up. Get it right flush to the end. You'll see in the top there, the holes are lined up. And then we're going to put this with the groove in. So they line up. So technically all like little, all the layers, all three layers should line up. This one has a little bit of a casting issue. Ooh. The paint, so we got to get that off so it lays flat. Here we go, we're back. We got that smoothed out. We'll just slide that back in there now. You can see it all lined up. Then in your kit's going to be these self tapping screws. You'll see it with the Phillips end on it. You're just going to set that in the hole. That's going to set everything together. Just don't go crazy. You don't want to break any heads off. I broke one off on the other slide, so. That's shame on Jimmy too. Hey, stuff happens. So we're up here, guys. As he was saying before, this camper was already preset to have these put on. So we have, oh, you need some help there, pal? <laughs> I'm just trying to dry up the water up here. Uh, yeah, uh, pre-assembled. So this is already on here and set for us. And we also have the one on the outside. That's just the cap. This comes right off. Uh, so, first, what we're doing is cleaning off the top. This is perfect time to do this. And then we're going to UV protect it. Uh, this one's brand new, so there's not really any issues, but it's a good time to check for uh, your seals. If you got any problems where you need to put the lap sealant on here. We're also going to treat the uh, rubber seal with the uh, rubber seal conditioner. This is what we use. It works pretty good. We'll have links to all the stuff in the description if it helps you out. So let's get this dried off and spray it down. So he's spraying on the UV protectant. We use we the 303. It's the stuff we like. It works pretty good. This jug, I'm telling you, must have. <laughs> Hold this, please, sir. I have the taller ladder, you know, because I'm recording, which probably makes it more of a challenge for him, but... Uh, what we're using is like a car wash soft bristle brush with a microfiber cloth on it. And then we just use that to rub it into the, the roof. That's all we're doing there. And then we'll get the condition, seal conditioner on the rubber. And then we'll get to putting that, that, that slide top around there. Pretty much, if once your slide topper's clean, once you do this, that's it. That's all there is to it. So now that we have everything UV protected and we also use that rubber sealant um, all the way seal across. conditioner. Yeah, the seal conditioner, since we're all good there. Uh, our next step is to put in the slide. It doesn't go in all the way. You're going to leave about, what, is it three inches or four? About three inches, no more than like six, really. Yep, so you'll leave a slight little gap, and then we can get to business. We can...
All right, guys, so we grabbed those two big black pieces, which he's got right here, and this is pretty straightforward. There's two options. That's what I want to show you guys. So there's two channels in here, so you can adjust whether or not you go in the first channel or the second channel. Right, if you put it in the first channel at the bottom, it'll set the bracket up higher. If you go lower, it'll set the bracket lower. For us, it works in the low position. Right, well, you want it low for this one, too, because you do want the water to, to roll off. So if it's, it's too high, if, it was, if it's too high, it's going to push water back towards your piece up there and you're going to have some problems so, so you on both sides you just set them on there you don't need to put the set screws in yet because you might have to adjust those when you put the slide topper on so just get those set up we'll go to the other side and pretty much it's close time to put that topper on for this step i highly recommend you guys make sure you have a helper if you try to do this yourself you may possibly damage the slide topper or your rv so right now jimmy one is just getting the slide topper and inserting it into the channel and slowly sliding the slide topper over. Once I reached as far as I could, I just go jump up on the ladder. Not jump, you guys gotta be safe. I carefully walked up the ladder to grab the slide topper from him so I could continue pulling the slide topper. The key to doing this is to make sure that we keep it even and we slowly slide it. If you go too fast or you're not even, you may damage the slide topper. As I keep pulling this across, Jimmy starts to line up that metal rod that's on the slide topper into that metal piece that we did in the last step. I'll show you guys after this clip a kind of zoomed in video of him doing that. And for me lining it up, it's a little tricky after he gets his in, but that piece that we put on doesn't have the set screws, so you can move it left and right. So you should be able to get it on there. It might take a little bit of wiggling, but it's nothing you guys can't handle. Okay, when you get this far, you want to, on whatever end you fed from, you want to put the bar through the holder. And you want to make sure your, your part that says LG Lipper comp or LC Lipper components is like straight up and down. Just slide it through, let it down front. All right, now that you have your, your awning up there and both, bra both your bars in the bracket, you want to center your bracket on the holder. And then there's, two set screws since we went to the low position you put your set screws in the top hole and these set screws have loctite on them so be careful they're they're tiny and it's a it's a one eighth allen we got a t-wrench one here one eighth allen will will feed them in and you just run them to their they get taut probably they'll probably be about flat once they're in you might sink in a little baby baby bit but don't, don't go crazy break anything it is all aluminum Oh, we're really far away from each other. I don't know if I'm going to get that from you. I'll throw it to you. I probably won't catch it. <laughs> Ultra slow-mo. <laughs> oh, I right, did catch it. And repeat, the, repeat that on that side. Run them in. And when he's done with that, we're going to we're going to center everything on here. These bars are still free into the, the brackets. So we're going to get a reference point from the side of the team holding to like the inside edge of the bracket. And we're going to get it equal on both sides. Like this one here is three and a half inches about. So we're going to make sure we're at three and a half. Well, for our particular. Should have grabbed the tape measure. <laughs> yeah. I'm at three and a half. We'll see what his is on his side. Yeah. All right, we had a little issue there. My bracket was in the wrong hole, so my set screws weren't tightening, so we had to adjust that. But we're, we're human. It happens. Uh, now that you have this measured e even, we have three inches on both sides. Yours could be different, so don't go by that measurement. We're going to put the two holes or the two screws in here, the, the soft tappers, and that will lock these in place. Don't go crazy tightening them because you will pop heads off. Yeah, the other one, I, I, I busted the other one. So I'm just going to let Jimmy One do this, you know? No, nah, you'll be fine. All right, guys, just wanted to mention this before we uh, tip out the slide. You do have to take the pins that come in there when you're shipping. Let me try to zoom into that. There's a little pin right up there. All you're gonna do is put a little bit of uh, pressure like inward onto it and then 
you'll be able to pull the pin out right at the bottom. Might be a little grainy, this is but- under spring tension, so we're just gonna twist that a little and pull that out. And then there you go. Then you do the other side. <laughs> All right, guys, now that we have it all lined up, let me take it right out this stand so I can get you a better view. Since we have it, we pulled it out. We don't have any weird slack or bubbles in the actual slide topper. So he is going to set the set screw in to the piece over there, trying to point to it. Yep. That way it can't slide out of the groove. There's one on each side. <laughs> Small little screw is really easy to do. There you go. It just sets the right through the awning in the corner and keeps it from moving. That's all I have to do. Is... Okay, guys, so that pretty... That pretty much sums up this video. We put one top around there, gave you guys a pretty good idea of the steps. We do have, what, a lot, three more now? Three more did, to go. Three more to go. One's on back order, so they'll trickle in over the next few days and we'll get everything all set. Uh, pretty easy job. Especially with the yeah. brackets already on there. Um, that cuts a lot of that time, saves you a lot of time. Mm -hmm. so plus takes away the scary part of drilling holes <laughs> in the yeah. side of your RV. Yeah, you get a brand new RV, you don't want to put holes in the side. But that's it guys, pretty easy job. And it's well worth putting on your RV, protects that slide out, keeps debris from getting inside, water, snow, whatever you got going up on top of there, branches. Um, so if you guys have any questions, just drop them below. We'll try to answer them the best we can. Make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. Uh, we really appreciate the support. If you're interested in anything we used uh, in the video, like the slide toppers or the UV protector or anything, we'll leave links down below for you guys. Help you guys out, helps us out, supporting the channel. So until next time, try something new. Do a little bit of everything.